Even when you put in the hard work, sometimes it's just not your day. I can't do my laces, my fingers are too numb. We don't think it's going to happen. As you can probably already see from outside of the window, it's miserable. The question is, how much of a difference is that going to make to Alan's performance? Well, we can only go and find out. Well, here we are for part two, and Alan is going to try once more to beat 20 minutes for the 5K. You can see Alan just right over the other side, warming up, doing his final lap before we begin. And then it will be 12 and a half laps for the 5,000 meter attempt. The real, real headwind is on the finishing straight, where it's really gonna be pushing him back from maintaining that four minute kilometer pace that is so key to run the 20 minute flat. But even with gloomy conditions, just as in part one for pacing, we called in the big guns. Time as we watch Louise Small coming into the finish. Ignoring the grim conditions, Alan warmed up. Even if the weather was worse this time, we had at least improved one aspect of this attempt. You didn't really see it on part one, but there was actually quite a lot of chaos trying to work out exactly where Alan and Louise were on the laps. So I brought in today Steve himself to make things a little bit more accurate. You're actually going to tick them off as you go. That's right. So this is on notes on my phone. So I literally, as Anna goes past each lap marker, I tick them off like that. And I'm going to also enter his time against the lap. And so just a reminder, Alan needs to run 1.36 each lap to run 20 dead. That's right. Yeah, 1.36. I thought I saw a glimmer of doubt in Steve's eyes. And how do you find that headwind? Is it really headwind bad? really bad. As soon as you come around that corner. I think if you have to do it with this headwind. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> is the weather so bad that you have to run in a dressing gown? No one's ever had to ask you to run as slowly as a 20 flat. Look at the racing shoes though. Alan laced up his own racing shoes, the same he had worn on the last attempt. Check out Harry Morgan. I can't do my laces, my fingers are too numb. Oh, he looks quick. The goal, of course, is that magical number of 136 per lap. That puts us on 20 flat. For anyone trying to break 20 minutes, the sound of 19 sounds like this mythical land. But believe me, it's very, very possible with hard work and training. With Louise now in the appropriate top, beginning at the 200 meter mark, we were ready for attempt number two. So we've got Louise pacing, Alan himself, we've got Steve on laps and a bit of general timing, and then Sarah Jane on second and third camera, and then myself doing whatever I do. 136 is the goal to begin with, we'll see how the headwind affects. Get to six laps in, see how you feel. Is everyone okay? Is everyone ready? Anyone got any questions? What are we doing here? Louise appeared to be saying a quick prayer. Three, two, one, go! Good luck, guys. Nice and steady. That's it, Alan. Tuck in, tuck in. So I think already, Alan, as he runs into that headwind over there, thinking, how the hell am I going to do this 12 and a half times? This feels horrible. That rain will be hitting them in the face right now. It's going to feel cold on the skin. You can warm up as much as you like, but really you have to get up to race pace and a few laps in to really start to feel good. As they came around to complete the first lap of 12.5, the weather was only getting worse. But it was at least perfect pacing. Good timing, 136, bang on! Okay, here we come round for the second lap. So just grin and bear it for a while. Just get these first laps out of the way. Very, very nice, guys. The second lap, they were three seconds down. So they're gonna need to just turn it back up just a little bit. But the beauty of running a 5,000 meter on a track, apart from ugh, 12 and a half laps, there is time to make small adjustments. There's room for a little bit of error. We're looking at 4.46 on the clock at the moment. Just stay relaxed, Alan. As they completed the third lap, Alan's wife, Sarah Jane, talked more about about his training since the first attempt. Yeah, he's been doing loads of speed work, loads yeah. of strides. That's it, staying close, Alan, nice. That's the big difference, is more speed work. Do you hear that, Daddy? He did a treadmill 5K in 1934 or something on the treadmill. Yeah. He messaged me, why is he not like this in reality? <laughs> I've got 628, 629, 630, 631 there. Okay, so first four laps, they went 136, 139, 139, 137. Whew. That 139 is a tiny bit worrying. They just need to start clawing it back. By our calculations right now, they're on about 2010 pace, which obviously 10 seconds faster than what Alan did before. 2020! But 11 seconds away from the golden land of sub 20. General word from Steve is in about a lap from now, if you can just try and turn it up, at any chance you get, just by a couple of seconds, that would be a good thing. Incredibly, they were finding the pace to be hitting 136 laps again. So from your calculations, they need yeah. to run what from now? 135 for the next seven laps to get inside 20. Okay, this is good, Louise. We just need a little bit of strength down the back straight now. 
That's it, Alan. Just stick in there. I must admit, when you get someone who's really good with numbers like Steve here, some of the magic almost gets sucked out of it. He just sits there and goes, well, they need to run 135 every lap now to get the sub 20. So Steve was just saying, once they cross the line here again, on this lap, they'll have done 2,800 meters of a total 5,000 meters. But the pain was beginning to show in Alan's face. Stick on her, stick on her. Very good. Like last time, I decided to join for a lap. But as I ran with them, I finally truly experienced what they had been dealing with. Yep, I see what you mean. That is a horrible headwind. Blasting us in the face. That's it, Alan. Come on. I know it hurts. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Beautiful running. Joy, every time I join you guys for this pace, I remember what it's like. It's quick. Really nice. Close that gap a bit. Come on. 12.57, 12.58. Keep it up, Alan. Stick on her. Stick on her. It's a 139 now. Oh, we can't have 139s. <laughs> we can't afford 139s. He's got to oh. be running 133s from here on in. Oh, God. The question really is, can he improve on 2020? Never ask a mathematician for the truth. That's going to be tight, I think. Even the 2020 is going to be tight. Yeah. I just ran around that top. Oh, this feels like, looks good. Alan's breathing heavy. All of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I see what you're dealing with. It's a horrible moment to do. But even the 2020 is in question. Yeah. We don't think it's going to happen. The weather's too bad. Louise is trying to give him the laps he needs, but he's, he's struggling to hold on. But that wasn't going to stop us seeing what time we could get. Louise, just keep him in check. Just make sure he's on you. Make sure he's on you. Pull through. Pull through, Alan. Just keep pressing now. Keep pressing. It's very hot. Can you just give me that latest lap? Oh, that was a 143 lap. Ooh. What's your prediction at this rate? 2030 something? Yeah, 2030 something. Which is still, I mean, you've seen what it's like to try to run that. Until you really run a lot and you experience different weathers, you don't realize how much an effect bad weather can have. Having just run that lap with them, the headwind up there was heavy. I think that's what's really put the stake in the heart of today's attempt. Okay, guys, we're at 16.05. We've basically got four minutes left of running to do. Four minutes left. Just keep cranking it out, Alan. Just see what you can do. Just keep cranking it out. Come on, come on. Come on! So that's the 142. So improving by one second. Yeah. Ouch. Steve explained the impact a lap that slow can have. Uh, sometimes there's no mystery to running. When you start staring at cold, hard numbers, it just becomes this sort of undeniable force of I'm slipping here and I can't make what I wanted to make. We discussed the tricky position that Louise was in. Uh, yeah, because the gap was just getting bigger. So she needs to run just enough that he's being dragged. It's, it's a tug, yeah, exactly. Come on, Louise, pull him round! Don't listen to how he feels, just do it. <laughs> Ignore the near on cardiac arrest breathing. Suffering. Pain is temporary, glory forever. <laughs> so what's the next track going to be out for the attempt? I think we go to the uh, Olympic Stadium. Come on! We're at 17.57. We're very close now. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Drag him round, Louise. Drag him, please. The please was added almost in desperation. With 1.5 laps to go, we made a dash to get to the finish line. So we're now making our way across to catch them. With the wind at full force, Alan and Louise pressed on for their penultimate final straight. Very good, guys. Very good. One lap to go. One lap to go. Oh. And we are 19.03. Keep it going, guys. Last bit, last bit. You're coming up for the 200 meter mark. Come on. Unfortunately, as cool as that looks, they're still under 20 and they're only there and they have to get to there. There to there is a lifetime of difference. It's like when you take 20 seconds off your 5K PB. People go, oh, that sounds good. But when you know 5K times, that's massive. We are 20.07 right now. Come on, push, push, push all the way. That is your finish line. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In pain, let's go, they let's pushed go. for the line. Every second counts. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Brilliant, well done. <laughs> Alan, that was horrible conditions, but I think that's a fantastic effort. Really stuff, Every time we got to here, it was like, Ugh. Oh, thank you, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once again, Alan had just missed out on the dream time. Can we try and do some sort of group photo. It was clear that even though he was fitter, the conditions, the wind in particular, had taken a huge toll on Alan's performance. Cheers, Sarah Jane. See you again. We waved goodbye to Sarah Jane and a bedraggled Alan. <laughs> That wind was so strong. Yeah, I think it is. Where's the worst position? Where's the exposed track? 
This was an incredibly difficult task. Yeah. Yes. That headwind was crazy. It's been raining non-stop since we got here. What was frustrating as well is that first lap he did was 136 exactly. You were perfect. Good timing, 136, bang on! It was absolutely bang on. And so me being optimistic went, whoa, we're on for this. 136, bang on, only 11 more to go. Like. <laughs> Do you know what, Louise? It's because I was asking dad questions the whole time about, you know, where are we at? What was that like? It actually kind of took some of the magic out of it of like the mystery yeah, of, well, can he do this? Because dad was just like, nope. <laughs> no, that, that was too slow. Nope. And then he just said what he would have to do. They would now have to run 133 for every lap to get something. Like it was so clinically just like this. This is how it's working. But Sarah Jane, I'm on the camera going, oh come on alan <laughs> but like the truth is just being shouted at me so from a narrative perspective it was hard to sort of crank up the drama i don't really know how to feel about that attempt there's a part of me that's a little bit disappointed that it didn't work out and i sort of feel a bit sorry for alan that the weather was just so i mean this is one of the worst days of weather we've had for this period in quite a while. Just the consistency of the rain, no let up. And of course we will do part three. So if you haven't already subscribed to stay tuned for that. And if you just watched this and you didn't watch part one, go back and watch part one, because this is gonna turn into at least a trilogy. If you haven't already hit subscribe and help us grow. At the time of this recording, we're still under a thousand subscribers. We've been going a fair while and we're trying to slowly grow this thing. So recommend this channel to a friend or share a video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. I'm Harry, go for that run. And this is Jogger.